Student friends, in yesterday's lecture we studied the one of the private small telephone exchange controlled by the public telephone exchange working for small area to transfer the call which are arriving to it and also from campus to the subscriber who are connected to public telephone exchange through that system and that system we referred it as electronics electronic private automatic branch exchange which we have studied yesterday friends almost all we are at the end of this particular topic with this today's lecture where we are going to study some of the value added services <coughs> student friends when we started with this particular topic it is told to you and that is all of us who are connected to the telephone exchange through the telephone handset are referred as the subscriber because we are paying money in the form of deposit and also obtaining the telephone handset along with the various services which are being provided by the telephone company in addition to that if you want to get some extra facilities for our handset we have to pay an additional money to the bsnl that is to the telephone exchange and you will we will get the additional services those additional services at the cost of some amount we can call it as value added services value it is the word used for paying money by adding value you can get some extra services from the telephone company those services we can refer here it as the value added services friends we are going to see what are those services we are going to get by paying additional money those services we are going to describe now the telephone exchange provides additional services <coughs> other than the routine communication means routine communication means communicating through voice signal from one subscriber with the other subscriber through telephone loop with help of telephone exchange maybe locally maybe on trunk route maybe yesterday maybe isd so all those are we can call it as the routine communication system in addition to those routine services by paying some extra money we can get some additional extra services and those are as per demand of subscriber for which the extra charges are to be paid those services are we can call it as first one a call transfer call transfer it has the meaning that suppose you are some outside of your place where your own telephone handset is locating and someone is calling you on your that particular handset and if you are not available there 
then that call is going to be transferred at a place where you are available provided the call transfer facility is taken from the telephone company by you as well as by other subscriber of the telephone handset this is what you can call it as transfer of call means your call is going to be transferred from one telephone number to the other telephone number where you are located or you are available <coughs> this facility we can call it as it is a call transfer let us see what exactly it means call transfer is the facility provided to the subscriber to transfer the call from one telephone receiver unit to the other but for this we have to pay the money when subscriber calls us on our number but we are not we are on the other number then same call can be transferred to other number by using this particular facility till and until transferred receiver is not picked up the call it is held up to completion period of the call means once the call is transferred to you till you are communicating with that particular call the call is held withheld till the entire communication is going to be gets completed so this facility we can call it as it is a call transfer facility <coughs> nowadays this facility is available on mobile and easily we are operating that but it was also made available on your telephone handset that is a landline handset by paying an additional money so that's why it is called as the value added service another service is call queuing or call in queue call in queue queue means many calls are following one after the another that is called as call in queue suppose you are speaking with some other number and there are there is another call which is coming to you then that call which is coming when you are speaking to the other number will be kept in the queue till your <coughs> communication with previous subscriber is going to be completed so see any number of calls which are coming one after the another all those are kept in queue till the completion of communication with the previous calling subscriber so that facility is going to be provided to the subscriber's handset provided he is going to pay an extra money for that it is called as call in queue or call queuing friends call in queue is the facility <coughs> provided to the subscriber when he is speaking with one subscriber and other call comes then that call can be in queue till the completion of the previous call by using this facility many calls can be kept in a queue so this facility will be treated as call in queue next one is <coughs> conference call dear students this call will be used by many persons even today you might be seen on the television screen many times that when many people are going to speaking with each other say in a group discussion you might be seen on the television screen on the television screen 
then there are many persons who are out of that particular discussion but they were going to be get connected with the telephone and said to participate in that particular discussion as if he feels that he is the part of that particular discussing forum this is known as the conference call means you are participating on telephone call in a conference in a discussion this facility was must was used by many persons during the covid situation period by keeping certain distance outside he or she is participating in a particular function on the audio conference call but nowadays if you choose the mobile as a device you can directly prefer the video conferencing call almost all you are well aware with that because you are using that particular facility for your mobile but for the bsnl telephone handset there was a facility or even it is available nowadays also that is referred as the conference call many aspects are there many group discussions are going on television screen suppose whenever the election period is there such systems are much more useful when election results were going to be declared on the television screen most of the people are speaking outside that particular television actually screen who is far away from that particular part and from that he is speaking nowadays audio as well as visually but <clears throat> for telephone and say only audio speaking even though now there is audio communication is also taking place because on a screen you will get the picture of that particular person and the telephone handset indicating that he is speaking only with the voice signal and participating in that particular conference such a facility you can call it as it is a conference call conference call it is a service facility to the subscriber so that he can speak at a time more than one subscriber continuously all subscriber can speak with each other <coughs> even though they are at a distance apart <coughs> <coughs> this communication is like a conference hence it is known as a conference call means for this facility to be obtained you have to pay the money to the company next one is a priority call it is the facility provided by the telephone company to our handset or subscriber's number if suppose many calls are coming at a time then the subscriber has to decide for which call he has to give the priority out of many calls arriving at a time he will take decision which call is to be picked up at first so that is called as priority call especially the very important persons like prime minister president of india chief ministers when for them this facility is going to be gets provided always <coughs> that's why they are going to deciding to whom they want to speak or to whom they don't want to speak i think nowadays we are also using this particular facility on the mobile how we are using 
Suppose some call is coming, if you, the name is displaying on the true caller, by seeing the name, we will take the decision that whether that call is to be picked up or not. If it is not going to be picked up, we are doing many things for that particular purpose. We are diverting that call to another number, we are keeping your mobile silent, so many things you are going to do. So it is another way of giving priority to the calls. <coughs> <coughs> So that is called as priority call. This is the service facility to the subscriber by which the subscriber can give priority to the call if more than one calls are coming simultaneously to a same subscriber. This facility can be used in emergency period for VIP or in defense in national calamity period. We have a persons just I have mentioned, Prime Minister, President of India, Ministers, Collectors, District Superintendent of Police, ICs. So all these are using this particular facility. In the defense field, natural calamity means in, in volcanoes period, earthquake period, flood situation, emergency period. A hotlines are provided for this particular purpose by using that this facility these persons are giving priority to the call if many calls are arriving at a time so all these facility is possible to be provided to the subscriber number if the subscriber pays additional money to the telephone company. So that's why these services, you can call it as it is the value added services. Not only that, internet facility is there, fax facility is there, all those facilities also we can call it as the value added services. But for that particular purpose, you have to put some hardware for the same number for your computer, here that new hardware is not necessary. So that's why these services which are obtained by paying additional money from the telephone company to the subscriber's number are known as the value added services. Student so friends, that's all about the entire telephone communication. So at last I am going to show you, <coughs> this is the oldest telephone handset having a rotary dialing system. This is stopper, these are the 0 to 9 numbers. Okay, so this is the cradle, this is the cradle switch which are referred. Inside that there are rest of the circuitry that is ringer, ringer, speech circuit, hybrid circuit, all those are present within this. This is the electromechanical system which is used for communicating purpose that makes use of circuit breaker and circuit maker arrangement within this particular dialing system. It is a rotary pulse dialing system with which previously the communication was taking place. But nowadays for electronic telephone exchange, this telephone handset is being replaced by this one. This is the modern digital telephone handset. So this is the cradle now. Below that there are cradle switch. So this is the DTMF dialing system. So additional keys are also made available here. <coughs> so these are the 12 keys. Below that there are touch plates, circuit bouncing circuitries. This is the display, LCD display. So it is called as a caller ID device. You are getting the display of that particular number here also. 
you are getting date time it has a memory where the number of calls which are arrived and you send outside to the subscriber all those are gets recorded here you can delete call you can set date time automatically you can get the number displayed number as per your requirement so it works digitally and it is totally related with electronic telephone exchange presently which is being used but this was the telephone handset which was used for crossbar stroger wearing system which was used for the communication friends that's all about the telephone communication system if you got any queries any difficulties any doubts all the mail ids my telephone number are open for you to ask the queries your answers will be provided through that particular aspect friends this is all about the <coughs> telephone communication which we want to be studied